Dick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 48 laps in the car this morning. How was it? What's your first feeling of the Williams? Well, yeah, uh, finally we got uh, a bit of driving, although out of uh, those laps, maybe 10, 12 was uh, poorly driving. The rest was gathering data and uh, signing off uh, checks and uh, different tests. Um, it's a bit late, but uh, better than, uh, than uh, nothing. So uh, I think we're, it has been important to, to do a few laps to get a bit of understanding and uh, especially preparing for next week because next week we have to crack on with the work and uh, yeah, definitely we will not uh, gain back the time we lost, but at least we have to focus on, uh, on uh, preparation and getting start uh, proper work for uh, Australia. Now your travelling fan club hasn't let you down. They're here again in force. Yeah, Just how important is that support for you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's good to see. Uh, unfortunately, they haven't seen a lot of action. They've uh, seen you though. Yeah, yeah you've they been have there. seen me, but <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm always ugly like I was. So <laughs> <laughs> I love the flag though. That is made up of all the faces of your yeah, fans. That's yeah, pretty this cool. Is, but you you should have seen this flag a long time yeah, ago so yeah so it's, it's a nice idea not for yeah. every it's a bit new yeah. for every a few people that's yeah. for sure yes. yeah it's it's nice and uh uh it's good i know a few of them i think uh, are flying also to australia which is impressive uh, you know it's uh, it's not easy for them so i would like to thank them and uh, everybody who is uh, following myself and uh, yeah let's hope uh, to enjoy this year yeah, I'm looking looking forward to the year. You know, it's something. It's great to have you back in the paddock. It's good to see you back in a car as well. How are you feeling about the sort of the whole prospect of a of a full season again in F1? Yeah, I mean the the challenge for sure is big, and uh, uh, I think uh, because I have been in this uh, situation a lot of years ago, <laughs> and when I was young, younger. Uh, so I know what to expect. So I know it it will be uh, difficult different challenges, uh, demanding challenges, uh, in order to to approach the year. Uh, that's why it's also important to prepare as much as you can, which the start was not the easiest, but we have to forget about what we had and we have to focus on what uh, will be next. So, uh, uh, yeah, definitely, you know, many occasions I will go through different situations which I don't know, I know what to expect, but I don't know how I will react. So. Uh, uh, hopefully the experience of the past will help me uh, and I'm looking forward. I think uh, there will be some highlights of the year uh, where I'm looking really forward. Uh, but uh, there's a lot of uh, things which, uh, as I said, I will have to go again, uh, like a, nearly like a rookie. Yeah. Just talk us through what happened with Lewis earlier on in this morning, in this morning session. Because you said the fans didn't get to see much. They got to see this, this moment. Yeah, I, I tried to move. To I tried to you. move, but uh, uh, we were going so slow that uh, he locked up. And uh, Robert, you had the line. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just keeping on yeah. him on well, his toes. I, honestly, I, I, yeah. I didn't even. I thought he went straight uh, uh, to to overtake me. You know, you can you use often uh, this uh, this route to you know to overtake slower car. So I didn't know even that he locked it up. Uh, there was quite a lot of uh, chaotic stuff going on uh, behind the wheel and uh, we were cruising around uh, but actually I think we were doing average probably 25 changes a lap switches so uh, yeah uh, quite a lot of conversations and stuff like this but hopefully he didn't get penalized too much but I don't think so so yeah. you refer to yourself as something of a rookie coming back an experienced rookie what's it like working <laughs> with a rookie in, in George Russell. Yeah, I, I, George, I, I met him last year and we had a couple of occasions to work together. Uh, he seems like a very nice guy uh, for his age, uh, very good technical knowledge. Uh, I think uh, new generation drivers, uh, uh, they have uh, much better preparation. You know, they w work much closer uh, with uh, Formula 1 teams with different junior programs so uh, they are involved in much earlier stage of their career in uh, into Formula 1 in different roles like simulator approaching their weekends uh, so they can pick up a lot and you know once you are you have your brain and he is a very intelligent guy so he, he gets a lot of uh, technical knowledge uh, so yeah we are having good time of, of course uh, uh, we didn't have a lot to exchange information during this week, but uh, looking forward for next week and working with him.
How are you going to approach the season? Of course, you're going to be up against George. Is, is it just to beat George? Or, or what is it for you for the season? Well, if you know me from the past, I was never I really focused past, yeah. uh, on, on my teammates. Uh, first of all, because if you want to achieve good stuff, probably you have to beat everyone. So whatever it is, and your teammate is or not, <laughs> uh, this was uh, always my approach. And, yeah. uh, but of course, the situation is different. Uh, you know, I'm coming back after a long uh, time. Uh, we have to be realistic. We will not be going to Australia to fight for uh, top positions. So uh, uh, I said something on our presentation uh, 10 days ago, two weeks ago. I think uh, what we have to target, and I was hoping for this. Unfortunately, it didn't work perfectly, but we have to still, I think this can be our realistic target is to have smooth start of the season uh, in order to be, f to f be able to focus on performance. Uh, it's it's for a driver, it's for a team. I think we are on the same boat. Uh, it will help me if we have uh, a smooth running without problems. I will get the feeling quicker. I will get the things sorted out quicker. And same with the team. You know, the, if the team is able to focus a resource on uh, performance and not solving the issues, uh, you know, we will we will move forward uh, in better way. Uh, so uh, I think the main focus from my side is. Uh, uh, to sort out, to prepare as much as I can and uh, to be realistic. I have to move step by step forward and be honest with myself and uh, I have been always very harsh on myself, uh, very demanding, so uh, if I'm happy about my job, uh, I know that it, it, I'm doing good. So uh, looking forward for ending up weekends and uh, being satisfied with what, uh, what I have done. I, I finished many races P9 and I was more happy about my what I achieved than uh, finishing on podium some races. So, you know, you know better than me. <laughs> sometimes, you know, you, you don't have it, yeah. but you are doing really maximum. And sometimes you, you know you have done some mistakes. You lost maybe one position, but you are still finishing on the podium. So Johnny always has it. I never had it. <laughs> no, you're, right, you're confused. I uh, never had it. Oh, Robert, listen, it's fantastic to chat to you. Thank you so much yeah. for joining Thank us. You. And Have we look good. forward yeah, to seeing you.